Hi everyone, for this morning I will be doing my review of the ATI TV Wonder 650. It is a high definition personal video recorder for your PC so you can watch, pause, record TV as well as FM radio. I would definitely recommend everybody to get this because there's a lot of features and one of its main features is the hardware MPEG encoder. Um, I have no idea what 3D comb filter means, but uh, this is the main features that you'll be using if you want to use the PVR function of it, as well as the uh, recording schedules of uh, TV. On the front of the box, there's a free remote control offer, but uh, when I visit the website, fill out all my information, I was still not able to get my remote control, so maybe you'll have uh, better luck than I did. Let's take a look at the uh, software now. When you first install the uh, the car and then the software, there's a wizard to guide you through all the configuration. But unfortunately, some of the configuration are not safe. So every time you start up this Catalyst Media Center, you would have to go through the, some of the settings again. Let's look at the uh, TV section now. Yep, what you're looking at, what you're seeing now is static. Inside the uh, video input, there's a lot of options for you to choose. The analog as well as the digital HD channels. There's the composite and S-video input just in case you want to record something from your camcorder. So even though I select digital TV, um, every time I restart the program, it does not remember the digital settings. The uh, picture is amazingly clear. Um, I have no gripes about it whatsoever. Right now it's morning time, so there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of HD programs going on. Down in the bottom left hand corner, there's the uh, stop, play, pause, record, fast forward, going backwards, volume up, volume down channels. If you right click, it will give you even more options such as the through view features. There's also the uh, channel list so that you can change channel. One of the interesting things about this is the through view. By selecting the through view, you can see that you can do whatever you want, uh, surf the web, type email, and still be able to watch TV programs simultaneously. I have no idea how good this feature is but um, I guess it can be used if you are a stockbroker and you can watch TV, you can watch uh, CNN money reports and do your do your thing on the website at the same time. If you want to record a show you can just hit schedule and this is very easy just select new schedule the channels you want to record, the uh, the time, the dates, and when it stops. Um, one other thing I, did, I don't like about this is that uh, even after it finished recording, it does not shut the program down. So when you come home, you would see you know the uh, the Catalyst Media Center along with the TV show of whatever it was recording last time. Here. There's the uh, here's the uh, electronic programming guide. So you can see that there's no channels, no programs, no time whatsoever. Um, I don't really don't know why, but for some reason I cannot download the EPG at all. Even though I call tech support, the Indian guy seems to be uh, pretty clueless. Um, they are aware of the situation, but it's just that they're not fixing it anytime soon. Maybe somebody can help me out on this one. Let's take a look at radio. This is FM radio. It is not HD radio, of course.
Here are some of my favorite radio stations in Philadelphia. There's Q102. Here's 98.1, Odie's 98.1. Setting up a schedule to record your show is pretty easy also, just like the uh, the TV. You can watch videos that you record or videos on your hard drive. There's also a DVD feature, so that way you can watch DVDs. Uh, one other thing I really hate about this DVD is that whenever you put a DVD in, it will start to play that video that, that does automatically. Uh, I really don't like to use this because I use Power DVD to watch uh, my DVDs because I feel that the uh, Power DVD software is much more powerful than this uh, media center. That's all I have for now. Um, personally, like I said again, I think this is a great package. Um, for $90 you get pretty much everything. There's uh, some problems with the, uh, the software, the Catalyst Media Center, as I mentioned before, but I think this is just a minor, minor, uh, minor problem. Um, if you have the, um, if you have Windows XP Media Center, I'm sure the problem goes away because this is Media Center compliant as well as Vista, as well as Windows Vista.